What's up guys, it's Bucky. Welcome to your 20th draft tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you guys about something called a conditional operator. Now, what conditional operators are is pretty much another way of using an if-else statement. But it's really compact and it's really small. So go ahead and create a variable called age and set it equal to 21 or set it equal to whatever you want. It's not going to matter. Well, a conditional operator is, is let me just show you. Make a simple print statement, system out, print line. And in this print line, this um, operator is so small that we can write the entire thing as an argument. And what it is is this. The first thing you need to do is give it a test. So if age is greater than 50, after you give it a test, you add a question mark. And what this means is treat this as a Boolean expression. So it's going to see if age is greater than 50, is it? Well, now you have to give it two options. If this is true, you're going to give it, it's going to execute the first option. If it's false, it's going to execute the second option. So since this is already in a print statement, all we have to do is add strings of text. So if it's greater than 50, put you are old. And how you separate the true from the false, you add a colon. Not a semicolon, that's a regular colon. And if it's false, let's put you are young. So let me go ahead and run this and let me show you guys what it does. It says you are young in the run box. And let me show you guys why this is. Don't mind any of this. This is not what we're learning today. What it does is we asked it a simple question. Is age greater than 50? Well, you only have two choices, yes or no. So then after you do this, after the question mark, you need to give it what happens if this is true. If age is greater than 50 and this is true, we want you to do this. If it's false then and it's less than 50, then we want you to do this. So again, ask it a question. This is going to come true or false. If it's true, do this. If it's false, do this in that order. And don't forget this question mark and also the colon right here. And remember, it is in a semicolon. So that's your real quick tutorial on how to use a conditional operator. And again, this is um, sometimes can be substituted for if else statement but I'm usually going to be writing just basic if else statements I just wanted to show you guys in case you come across this uh, you actually know what it is and aren't lost so uh, that's it for this tutorial thank you guys for watching uh, make sure to check out my next tutorial and make sure to subscribe to my channel so again thank you guys and I'll see you next time